Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 20th of 2020, well, it is titled Northern Summer on Titan. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the large moon Titan, the largest moon orbiting the planet Saturn. And Titan is also unique because it is the only moon in the solar system with a significant atmosphere. And in fact, Titan has an atmosphere very similar to that of Earth. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than the Earth, about 50% denser, but it is primarily made of nitrogen, just like our atmosphere here on Earth. Of course, the big difference, it does not have any oxygen in it, and it is also a lot colder on Titan than it is here on Earth. Titan's typical temperatures would be a couple hundred degrees below zero. So no chance of any liquid water on there. In fact, water is all frozen solid, just like a rock on Titan. However, there is a liquid on Titan, and that would be methane. At the temperatures and pressures that exist on Titan, methane will behave as a liquid. And in fact, there are rivers and lakes of methane on this distant moon. Now here we're looking at the seasons of Titan. So Titan would have seasons, uh, much like the Earth, not because it goes around, of it going around Saturn, as it is tidally locked to Saturn, but because as, it, or as Saturn and Titan together orbit around the Sun, it will give it seasons when Titan is more tilted towards the Sun in the Northern Hemisphere, which is what we have here. Then we would have southern summer in the northern hemisphere and winter in the southern. And about 15 years later, that will reverse and we will then have winter in the northern hemisphere and summer in the southern hemisphere. Now, why does it take so much longer than typical seasons here on Earth? Well, that is because it, we're looking at the orbit of Saturn around the sun, which takes about 30 years. So seasons on Titan would be about the same as seasons on Saturn, and they would each be about seven and a half years long. So you'd have seven and a half years of summer, seven and a half years of fall, seven and a half years of winter, and then seven and a half years of spring. So all that is because it's much further away from the sun and has a much larger orbit. Now, Titan is also unique in the outer solar system as it is the only object uh, out beyond, out with Jupiter and beyond that we have ever landed on. So we've never landed on any of the other objects. The giant planets themselves, of course, can never be landed on because there is no solid surface. But the moons could be, and in fact, the Cassini orbiter, which orbited around Saturn, also brought a lander that landed on Titan and gave us an up-close look at its surface and showed us some of the surface features below the atmosphere. The atmosphere is very hazy, much like that of Venus, not permitting us to see through it directly. So we could only see through it using things like radar to penetrate through the clouds. But uh, Huygens, the Huygens lander, was able to give us an up-close look at this a uh, very interesting moon and very unique moon in our solar system. So that was our picture of the day for June the 20th of 2020. It was titled Northern Summer on Titan. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Venus by Moonlight. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.